I want to use this opportunity to thank Almighty God, who is the Father of us all, for the wonderful things he has done for me, that uh, I did not retire unto death. <laughs> At a point, I was counting it. I said, uh, Olufosoe did not retire to death. Adetiloe did not retire to death. Akeola did not retire to death. I will not start it. <laughs> so, I'm very grateful to God. Our primate, I want to thank you in a special way for the initiative to handle this service this way. It wasn't my idea. What I thought was that I should come to church and quietly do whatever I want to do, and uh, God sees my heart, and I will go. But he persuaded me that this is the way we should do it. And I think his idea is better. So we thank you very much. I want to thank my wife and children because it came to a point where we were not able to know what to do. Some suggested I should go to the UK. And actually, we made arrangements to go. One hospital accepted us. Fortunately, the brother of the primate works in one of them. But later, they wrote to say, they said, because of COVID, I shouldn't come again. I was downcast. Then, quickly, there is another initiative, which I will call John's Initiative. John, my friend, John's arranged that I should be taken to Dubai quickly. And that one, too, started to develop problem. When that started to develop problem, I said, maybe this is the end. So, no problem. We face it. Then they say, okay, if we can't go to Dubai, we should go to Abu Dhabi. And Abu Dhabi is beyond Dubai, and it's very hot. Again, that one failed. Because I say, I don't think I can stay in that hot place with my health condition. Another initiative that I should go to South Africa. That was where the whole thing broke down. South Africa, I've been to South Africa before, but it doesn't seem that that is where I want to go. Just like from the beginning, I ruled out going to India. So, I, the children ask me, if you won't go to um, South Africa, you won't go to where? So what, what do you want to do? You want to die? I say, it doesn't mean that way. Let us be praying. And those people warned me that my time, I'm losing time. I was losing time very fast. It's okay. So I now made up my mind that I should face, instead of going to South Africa, there are black people like us. Let me go to Nigeria. <laughs> One consolation I had for choosing Nigeria is that if I die, my wife and children will see me live like that. They will see my body. They will see everything. They don't have to put me in a cargo to bring me back. So we settled it that way, and I decided to go and face it. We were admitted... After one week of the admission, I developed a robust confidence. 
that the Nigerian hospital was more than able to do it. Mm. I'm very sorry that many of you did not know, even the clergy, because the hospital said they would not like to control the church in the hospital because of COVID. That going, too many people going and coming will not be helpful. So I think there are about three or four clergymen. Uh, of course, the primate and his wife came. And uh, they saw me through the glass. They did not come in initially to show you how serious it was. They were only able to speak to me through phone. But thank God, thank God, I can speak to them directly now. <laughs> I'm grateful to my governor. Governor, His Excellency Fanny Okowa, and his wife, Dame Edith Okowa. They were there from the beginning, calling every day, every night, to know my condition. They persuaded me to go abroad, but together we were all trying the UK axis. It didn't work out. So they all agreed I should face it here with prayers. So we thank God for them. We thank God for our lives. We thank God for Ambassador Gosson Echegile and the Buzugues who were around here. For one thing, you know, this country, if anything happens to you, people will say, which don't kill them. So I say, I cannot be primate and which will come and kill me. If I die, I died naturally. So I called the prominent leaders of my community and I told them, if I die, don't disturb my wife. It's not, she's not the one who killed me. Because the usual thing is to point a finger that, you see, you killed him because of this, because of that. It's nobody who has killed me. Maybe as I retire from primacy, I also retire from the, this world. Anyhow, we thank God it didn't happen that way. God helped us. The governor, his wife, Gosson, and all of them, they put hand together and made sure that nobody f generated any tension about my ill health. I want to say that John has shown me friendship. Friendship. And uh, we worked together for almost 10 years in the NCPC. And uh, I envy the period we worked together. He's an honest young man, a diligent worker, and I am sure wherever he enters, he will succeed as he's succeeding where he is now. John, thank you very much. Thank you very much. The clergymen who came were strictly warned not to pass the information because it could have a bandwagon effect and people will start trooping in. So I am not saying that those of you who didn't come are not my friends. You are my friends for not disobeying. <laughs> but those who came, those two or three, we were able to manage their presence. Even though the hospital wanted to say, why are they going and coming? And so I said, no, I need people. I'm not a hermit. And so we thank you. We are very grateful. We don't know how to thank you. But for the primate, the clergy, the choristers, the men and women of the Church of God. What do we say to you? Thank you. Thank you and thank you again. Yes.
May you not be sick. If you are complaining like the preacher said, please stop. Because what you have is more than gold. What you have is more than rubies. Don't put your mind on flashy things you see around. They pass away. Health is wealth. Rejoice in what God has given to you. For the one month or so we were in the hospital, we were not able to come out to see the sun. We did not come out. It's as bad as that. It was as bad as that. So, if God allows you to eat eba, thank him. Allows you to drink water, thank him. Allows you to relate with people, thank him. Don't grumble. Because those who grumble in the desert were beaten by snakes. So please honor God. Glorify him. Thank him for everything. And on behalf of my family, we say thank you to the primate for organizing this service. Thank you to members of the church and the cathedral in particular, the clergy, for the good work you are doing. We say may God bless you abundantly. Thank you, members of the church. Thank you, members of the diocese. We are grateful. We are grateful. Uh, professor, may you not be sick. Yeah. Yes. If anybody pray for you like that, thank the person. Yeah. <laughs> because if you are not in good health, you can't write books. <laughs> the bishops who have come from uh, Guagualada, um, we are again. Kubwa and uh, Aaron Dizwago. I thought I saw the man there. Uh huh. May you not be sick. Amen. And may the joy of God fill our hearts. Amen. Thank you very much. See you again sometime.